So that's the phase propagation. Phase propagation um, is just in the direction k. Yeah. What about the group propagation, the propagation of energy? That's even more exotic. So to work out the group propagation, well, you know, the, the phase speed is omega divided by k, right? The group speed is d omega by dk. So now we can calculate the group speed by doing a bit of differentiation. So what we do here is we say, let's say this kh here, which I've drawn on the blackboard there, is equal to Lm, the vector Lm, right? And we'll just drop the h here. So we'll just call that k, just to save a bit of uh, typing. And um, so we'll say k is the horizontal wave number and n is the vertical wave number. So the horizontal group speed will be d omega by dk. So you take this expression, calculate d omega by d, well, this is k, this is k, right? And that will give you this, right? And then you take, you want the vertical component of the group speed, d omega by dn, and it gives you this, right? So if you don't believe me, here it is. It's all worked out for you on the next page. All the working to give you omega is equal to n squared, k squared over k squared plus n squared, okay? d omega by dk, blah, blah, blah. There you have it. The same equation, start with d omega by dn, and there it is. But what's important is that there are quite a lot of common factors between these two expressions. So here is d omega by dk. Here is d omega by dn, right? There's a lot of common factors between them. So if you take out all the common factors, the vector group velocity is equal to all this common gubbins multiplied by this vector. And what's, you know, the, the uncommon factors, what you need to specify to, to have the horizontal and vertical components are just these bits, n. You see, because here you have omega n squared, and here you have omega n, so you multiply by n, right? Here you have omega n, but there's no k on the bottom, so you need a, a, a k on the top here. And it's negative, right? So you have this common factor multiplied by n and minus k. So the horizontal component is proportional to n, and the vertical component is proportional to minus k. What does that look like? All right, so let's draw it on the blackboard. Here's my n direction, and here's my horizontal direction, right? So let's say my value is n is here, my value of k is here. So my phase propagation is in, the, is in this direction, right? So that's my phase propagation. My group propagation, so let's try and just sketch it out. The horizontal component of the group propagation will be proportional to n, right? So let's take n here and project it onto the horizontal axis. That's my horizontal component for the group propagation, right? The vertical component of the group propagation will be proportional to minus k, right? So if I take this k and project it onto the vertical axis, but it's negative, so I'm going to project it down this way. So, that, so here's n, here's minus k, right? So my group velocity will have this com vertical component of minus k and this horizontal component of n. So if I draw it, it'll point that way. Right? Now, between these two, there is a right angle. Yeah? So what we see is that the group propagation is perpendicular to the phase propagation and to the right. Okay? So if the phase propagation is going up there, the crests and the troughs will progress in that direction, but the energy, the information, the wave packets, they will go this way. Remember, these are transverse waves. Basically, the restoring force is in the vertical, but that doesn't mean they can't propagate vertically. They can, because if you just have the right arrangement between the, between the phases at different depths, you see, then you can line up the crests here and the troughs and the propagation will be perpendicular to those crests and troughs. So there is some vertical propagation at an angle theta with the horizontal. Yeah. The phase propagation is that way, and the group propagation 90 degrees to the right, down this way, okay? Energy, yeah. So that is internal waves. There is an awful lot more to say about internal waves, but 
you've had a taste of it, an introduction, 